Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. You got a question? You want to I'll answer your question. You want to know where we are currently? Okay, so right now we are IUIC Chicago. We're spreading out to Milwaukee. Okay. So Milwaukee is being established right now. You see the flyer? Yeah, I'm going to tell you that. It was like church on Fond du Lac. My lady ran off of like almost like by Lena. No, but uh, Save a Lot. Okay, well, right there on the flyer on the very back, you ain't got to open it up. Flip it over to the back. Uh -huh. Our number is there. Just call the number. As you get established, you can get all the information that you need in order to. This is our west, ain't it? Our west? Yeah, that's I go there, our I go there twice a week. I mean, uh, every two weeks of my Also, you come up, you come up to Illinois. Anyway. From you come up to Illinois anyway. Okay, cool. So, next time you come up to Illinois, you can come have a with our guys. All right. Let me, let me ask you something. Have you, so, you heard we the Israelites before, right? So, let me ask you something. Because you said you, you congregate where? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in churches like that. You don't believe in churches like that. So what you believe in? I, I just believe in God. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get into all of that extra stuff that they do. Okay. I mean, I, used to, I used to, one of the biggest pastors he used to drive and he said some stuff to me one day, and I'm like, man, that's a cold game. You saw the, uh, the falsehoods that was in with the, with the guy talking. He said, I'm so selling, now, he said, I'm selling hope. Okay, cool. So now here's, here's my question for you, because you're an older man. Obviously, you're older than I am, right? right? If, if you got any children? You got five, they grown. You got five grown children. So when your children grew up, if they said, look, Dad, I want to serve God, what would you tell them? That's their choice. Right. If they said, Dad, I want to serve God, how do I do it? What would you tell them? Search the scriptures. Do what you got to do for Search the scriptures. I think I, I agree with you on that. Search the scriptures, right? So now I'm here's the question. What telling here's the question. Give me oracles of God. Because your interpretation, Give me your interpretation might be 3460. That's what God is giving you. Right. So, you got for yourself. so here's the thing. Being here in this society, in this nation in America, us as black people, where did we learn about God from? Them other people. No, what's the other people? Well, it's, my, it's my, just my, all grandma, me and his people, right? taking me to these people. They tell me Who's these people? Let's be real. Well, the white folks. Yeah, the white folks, right? Yeah. When we were under slavery and oppressive conditions, correct? Correct. So if my slave master was Baptist, what was my religion? Baptist. If my slave master was Pentecostal, what was my religion? We, yeah. we the same religion, master. We. Read the Bible. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. What we out here to do is to get the people on a level playing ground and a simple understanding. That's Number right. one, we the Israelites. That's our nationality. Right. That's that right. ain't got nothing to do with what religion you follow, what God you follow. Right. Your na the nation, the blood flowing through your veins is you the Israelites. That's right. As the Israelites, we had law, statutes, and commandments given to us from the one true God. That's what we follow. Read the Bible. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So this is what you would tell your children. You say, look, sing out the book of God right. and read the Bible. Read. Right. No one of these shall fail. When the Bible says no one of these shall fail, it's talking about none of the prophecies. Right. Meaning as you read the book, you can see it unfolding before your eyes. Yeah. Bring it out. Read. None shall want her mate. And nothing can be added to the Bible. Nothing mates with it. It's a standalone book of prophecy of the words of God himself. That's what the Bible tells us. So in our moving in this society, we have to decide who are we? Who is our God and what does God require of us? That's right. Our people, we gotta ask some of the most simple questions. Do you think God is a just God? So, he's just, but what you're saying is he'll give judgment as well. Right. right? So let me ask you something. If you had a people that was being oppressed for over 400 years, went through slavery, Jim Crow, last hire, first fire, black codes, right. the school of prison pipeline, all the way up today to the oppression from police, right. systematic oppression. Why would you think a just God is sitting back and doing nothing? Bring it out. Bring it out. Why hasn't God intervened on 
my behalf. Give me the jewelry. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. And this, this wait, 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 wait. You, you answer mine, and then you can ask me yours. How about that? We dialogue. I just want to ask one some questions, man. See, that's why I had a problem with reading the word. Like, okay, cool, cool. Let's go there. Question is, if, 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 if I serve an all-knowing God, uh huh. Now he's all-knowing. Uh huh. From beginning to end, he knows what's going to happen before it happens, and the, and, the, and the result of it. Correct. Now, this is just me. Why would I put a garden, a tree in the garden, and eat and tell them not to eat it, knowing they're going to eat it, and then it's going to cause all this friction? But I'm all-knowing God. Why would I tell you something that I know you're going to do already? I'm going to say it right there in the middle of the garden. Why, why would I even? Is that symbolic? Ooh, you might have said something. So I mean, here, here's what we're trying to do. I had a problem, had a problem with that. Like, oh, he just, he just what did he do? He, he, don't, he, he don't have to come up with a, with, with, with a rhyme or a rhyme. Hey, I got to go. Hey, brother, I got to go. That's your bus. All right, read this. I'm going to answer your question as you go. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm going to get that. Because the man going to fire me if I'm late. <laughs> That's all right. Because what That's you're saying, what you're saying, brother, you're speaking from the mind of right. an oppressed man. Okay. So what you're looking at is you're saying, look at the condition of our people. If God knew we was going to do this, why he put us in this position for us to live like this in the first place? I'm going to read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8. Uh-huh. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. It's like a child that just finished getting a whooping, right? Yeah. That pack all his bags and be like, I'm running away. And then he's sitting at the door like, well, where am I going? Bring it out. If my mama and daddy had me, surely they knew I was going to do something bad sooner or later. Yeah. Right. Why would they whoop me? Right. I mean, they made me. Right. That does not justify the actions and the judgment for the actions. Bring it out. You get what I'm saying? Bring As God, he gave, he said, thou shalt not kill. He did not take away your ability to kill. Okay. He simply said, don't kill. Now, if Bring you kill, out. that's your choice. Right? If you went and got a gun right now and shot a man, he would die. God told you, don't do it. You decide to do it anyway. So what we want to do is we want to take our thoughts and our decisions that we made and say, well, I know I made that decision. Bring it out. But God knew I was going to make that decision. No, no, no. God gave you the power of life and death in your hands. So you believe in predestination? No, I, I believe that then there, there are those that are already chosen. Let, let me explain it. First let me explain it. The, chosen the, race royal priesthood the, the darkness, book of Isaiah, uh -huh. chapter 55, verse 8. Uh -huh. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, uh -huh. neither are your ways my ways. What you see today from the oppression of the so-called black man is that our ways do not match up with God's way. Bring it out. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to justify it by saying something is wrong with God. Okay. Why would he right. set up the situation to be so corruptible? Bring it out. But the scriptures say, I made man upright, and they sold out many inventions. Right. Therefore, he had to punish us because of what we chose to do. Right. There has yeah, always been that. good in I got you on that. I got you on that. You get what I'm saying? I Read that. that. I received that. I received no, Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. Uh-huh. See, I have set before thee this day life and good. So he did, he did see, he set before us life and good, read, and death and evil. Let me ask you something, the so-called black men in America, do we still have these same two options? Which one do the majority of our people choose to pick? Bring it up. Now I ain't but talking about, my, I'm not my, talking my about. My personal experience, uh -huh. I want to go with the easier way out. So, which is to satisfy my flesh. Okay, so boom, that's good. Can't no stay I'm just being honest. Look, 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 brother, it's just right hand, I'm gonna, I gotta get on this one. Okay, cool. I appreciate you, brother. I got your thing going, but um, read that. I got the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. Uh huh. See, I have set before thee this day life and good. When you stand in front of us right now, you're receiving that life and good. Yes, the brother standing in front of seven mile discount, receiving the death and the evil. Right? right? Because it's men out here trying to provide solutions to the very thing that this country is in an uproar about we and know. our people have turned their ears away. Right. That's life and good and death and evil. Bring right. it That's the difference between the two. Read. And death and evil. Uh-huh. In that, I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To walk in his ways. So when we walk in God's ways, that means we actually doing what the Bible say. We used to scream black power 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.